everyone, and welcome to Eagle Walkthrough. It's okay. funny. <laughs> welcome to some number episode of our YouTube channel. God damn it. Well. You could always just dub it afterwards. No, that stinks. Hello everyone, and welcome to some number episode of our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be working on this project that I came up with. I am not totally sure on whether it's like inlay or um, marquetry. I think it's inlay, and according to the internet, it's going to be really hard. But I'm going to do it anyways. This is a scroll saw that I bought uh, at a used tool store a couple of years ago because they were selling it for like $25, and I was like, shit, that's cool. And I've never used it. I'll size it up and clean it up and see if I can get it going. Safety third. saw blades. This is skip tooth, which says it's good for extremely intricate fine cuts. There, it's not focusing, so you can't see that at all. But you just have to take my word for it. It looks like the set screws that are supposed to be in here to capture the blades are gone, which you know is something I did not anticipate. Yep, no set screws. That sucks. So, hmm. I don't have any set screws, but I'm gonna reassemble this thing a little bit anyways. I realized that there actually are set screws. They were hidden in this little secret compartment here. So I've got them. It says I'm supposed to read the manual before turning the saw on, but I don't have the manual. I'm just gonna kinda try my best and see what happens. It's very small. Got the speed turned all the way down. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. All right, like that seems pretty good. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. It cuts wood, but if I turn it up even more, it's a lot of shaking. Maybe that's just my whole table that's shaking. So let's think about this. Makes extremely fine cuts, like really pencil thin things. I guess I should try and cut two matching pieces out of two different pieces of wood and see if I can fit them back together. Maybe also see if I can put this on a more stable surface and improve the cutting vibration that way. All right, so I cleared off a little space on the workbench. We're gonna see if this can provide a more stable platform. Safety glasses. My safety glasses, let's turn the saw on. Still shaking the table, but maybe not quite as much. Let's turn it up a little bit. Ah, uh, much better. Strong table seems to be a good thing to have, even if it's usually covered in crap. Trying to follow this line, walking a little bit. Without the little air blower guy that's supposed to clear sawdust, it is damn near impossible for me to see where the line is. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a little trickier than I thought. I realized that there's this little rubber thingy on the top of the saw. Every time this arm comes up during a stroke, it bumps against the rubber thingy, and the arm hitting it generates a little puff of air which blows out this nozzle onto the workpiece, clearing the sawdust so you can see your line. Unfortunately, the little interface guy is broken, which is sad. So we'll work around that. 
I found this tiny brass tube that it almost almost fits inside of this little uh, hose barb that's broken. Theoretically, now we've got a little bit of blower action. That went okay. It pretty much followed my line, but it took a lot of work. I'm noticing that I'm getting some visual distortion from my safety glasses. Lack of a blower is a problem. And I could use more light. I might need to upgrade this thing, but I think I'm gonna just try and cut some fine wood anyways right now. Here's my design. Originally I was thinking Umbreon would be on this kind of like flowy background, but uh, uh, I've since decided that that's a bad idea. So I'm gonna do Embryon and I'm gonna do sort of, sort of a more geometric background. I haven't really designed that yet, but I'm gonna try making like maybe Umbreon's eye, maybe a little like donut thing just to see if I can get it to work, because if I can't, then uh, I'm going to have to reevaluate some stuff about what I'm doing here. I bought a whole bunch of woods at Rockler Hardware, which is really fucking expensive, and I'm going to try and make some tiny parts now. I just cut the piece out and uh, it flew away and I lost it. So that's a lesson right there. sanding and filing which I didn't film because I didn't think it would be interesting. I am finally ready to glue this whole thing together. So I've got this main Umbreon part which I made before. I've got all the other parts including the surround and a lot of little detailed bits. I'm just gonna brush on some glue and stick it up and hope it fits well enough. me that you're watching me do this whole thing upside down, which is probably less satisfying.
building material that I'm going to use to make a frame around my Umbreon marquetry. 